And we're live. Good to be back, guys. Today, I want to talk to you guys about my experience with Tesla stock. And I own Tesla stock for over 10 years. I no longer own any Tesla stock. I sold all of my shares in it July of 2020, 2022. And I'll share why. But um, my experience with it I think is is valuable because it's such a volatile stock. It's such a volatile meaning f it fluctuating. It could be extremely up one day and then the next day it could be down in the dumps. And so I think it's important for you as a owner of Tesla stock or if you're thinking of owning Tesla stock just to know that this is a stock that will have lots of swings, ups and downs. When I first purchased Tesla stock, I remember I was about 20, 21, 22 years old. This was in the year 2012, I believe. Um, and I remember I purchased it at about $136 a share. Now, these numbers might be a little bit off to what current numbers are because think about it, you've had this stock that has split multiple times, meaning that the shares have been fractionalized. They've been, um, the value of them has been split up. So like if I had one share of Tesla stock and it got split eight times, now I have eight shares. But what that did was if the value of that stock was $100, now since it got split eight times, it would be what, um, whatever, $12 or so uh, per share. So what it does is it takes a $100 stock price and it turns it into $12 by diluting the shares to a certain extent. Now, I'm just going to give you my experience as a personal investor in Tesla stock. Um, I do also carry securities licenses, not as a stock trader or broker, but I for a living did do um, uh, security series 6 and 63 mutual fund uh, retirement accounts things like that so I do have a little bit more of a perspective than let's say or understanding that the average person but when I first bought Tesla stock I did not I actually just was interested in it because it was popular at the time um, because I remember reading about Elon Musk and how he took the the profits that he made from PayPal and he dumped all of his money into three companies. I remember it being Tesla. He bought Tesla. Uh, so he took over that company. He bought, I believe, a company called Solar City or, you know, Solar Company at the time. And um, I think there was one third company. But anyways, I thought it was really interesting how he had made all this money and then he goes and reinvests all of it and essentially ends up broke again uh, because he put all his money into these companies. That's how much he believed in them. And so I remember hearing about Tesla stock and I, when I bought it, I finally bought it at about $134 a share, somewhere around that. Again, this is in the year 2012. Um somewhere in that range, what happened was I went to a, uh, a party with some friends, or it was um, somewhere in downtown LA, it was um, near the, well, it doesn't matter where it was, but it was like a, a bar, food place, and I remember talking to one of my good friends, shout out to him, Sean, and I remember telling him, hey, I just bought Tesla stock, because we were always talking about business, and that was something we were always interested in, and stocks, and investments. And uh, he says, oh, man, you're a little late to the game. And I remember that stuck with me, not because, you know, I love the, I love the guy, um, but it's because it just it puts perspective, right? Because it had just gone up from, I don't know, it was $70 a share, or $50 a share, and it had gone up to $130. That's when I finally bought, right? But I remember that comment because... It's just, you never know, right? And, and with Tesla, it's definitely, I've bought 
several other companies, stocks. I've owned Chipotle, Starbucks, Panera, um, Facebook, Meta, um, made some bad investments uh, with certain stocks, Pandora, Sirius Radio. I bought several different companies. And the way that I did it was I honestly just bought a few shares. So if it was like $130 or so per share of Tesla, I remember buying a few, maybe like two, two, five shares. I mean, you know, I made an investment of a few, let's say a few hundred dollars. I don't, it wasn't a huge investment, but let's say I put like $500 into it. Well, this was in the year 2012, let's say. So I never sold Tesla. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Over the years, it would fluctuate a lot. And I'm talking over the years, not even talking about over the months or days, right? And I knew going into it that I, I did not want to be a, a, a daily um, day trader. That's not what I was looking to do. I always had this idea that I'm just going to buy and I'm going to hold. And what happened is over the years, I kept looking into Tesla, hearing about its growth, reading on Elon Musk, and, and I would buy more. And I kept buying more and buying more and buying more. And over the years, and I just kept adding to that portfolio. I never sold the first share of Tesla uh, that I bought at $134, let's say, or $35 per share, right? Well... Again, this is before the stock splits. So if you're thinking, well, the stock right now is only at, let me see what today it's at. It's only at 100, no, it's at, uh, yeah, it's at like 123 uh, a share today. But that's after splitting multiple times, multiple times. And I remember, uh, if I remember correctly, there was a four- a four-way split, and then there was like an eight-way split. Uh, but I sold prior to that eight-way split because I sold in July, and I think that happened somewhere in August. Um, okay, so let me get back to it. So why did I just kept holding on to the stock? I thought that in the long run it was going to do well. And so I just I knew I wasn't making any money immediately because – the way that I looked at it was you don't make any money until you sell. This is a little later. I, I, I studied and learned this, right? You have unrealized gains and unrealized losses. That means even though your portfolio shows you've made $1,000 or 20%, for example, you really haven't made that money. You make it when you sell. At least this is the way that I understand it from accounting purposes and that's the way that I looked at it I'm like okay I haven't really made any money here it's just it's growing so I'm just gonna keep it um and I would just reinvest I would keep reinvesting um and I had other stocks I mean I owned the way that I and I can make this another I can make another video that talks about how I just built a portfolio um but I did it through e-trade you know, and at the time, every time I purchased, there was like a $10 fee. Um, so it was expensive. So, you know, like if you were going to make a purchase, it had a count. I think now on E-Trade, it's, there is no fee to make purchases. Um, so I kept buying. Uh, I saw it growing over the years. And one of the most difficult things with specifically Tesla was the fluctuations but the way that I dealt with that over the years was um, not looking at my account every day see I had this thing where I was I had the app on my phone and I would check my account every single day multiple times a day but I wasn't trading it every day so I don't know why I was doing that it was just like curiosity, did I make money, did I make money? And I realized how much time I was wasting looking at the app. 
um, you know, if I was going to be selling it and day trading it, that's different, right? But I wasn't doing that. And I knew that from the beginning. I was just buying to hold on to it and see what happened down the road. But I eventually figured out that this was just a long-term play. I thought, like, Tesla one day will be something. It was already a big thing. I'm not. It's not like I got in at the very, very beginning. But... I got in in 2012, right? So it were, you know, that's I owned the stock for over 10 years, um, and it was just one of those things I just held on to, right? Um, and over the years, that portfolio began to build. Now I ended up selling it. Um, well, before I get into the sale of it, I just want to share with you guys. For me, the easiest thing was removing the app, hiding the password. <laughs> And I would still check it, like on my computer, um, what the Tesla stock was at, but I wasn't actually logging into my E-Trade account. So I didn't know the numbers. I just kind of was like, oh, it's at this now. It's at, you know, 400, 500 a share, 600 a share, 800 a share. You know, eventually it got to, um, I remember recently, it, it had gotten up to like about, 1200 a share and then um this is before again the eight-way split that happened in 2012 and um i remember i ended up selling it somewhere around like 810 a share 810 dollars a share so i remember thinking like oh shoot i missed you know the sale uh at 1200 a share which i think was close to its peak ever um but it's one of those stocks that and I'll get into why I sold and all that, but it's one of those stocks that it's just extremely volatile. So, like, you have to know going in that if you're checking this every day, it, you might get, you know, it may not be healthy because unless you plan on selling it and reselling or buying and reselling, that's different. But if you're really looking at playing it long term, you know, over five years, just holding on to this stock, these volatile changes, these changes in the market are actually a good thing for you. When it does drop, you can always pick up more. You know, so getting an idea of what the stock price is at is a good thing. But checking it every day is not. And so you got to figure out what that balance is for you. For me, I had to remove the app. That's just what worked better for me. Well, long story short, over the years... It ended up um, when I recently sold, and this was July of 2022, um, Tesla stock. I sold all of it. I saw how much I had invested in it over the years, and the number was close to close to seven thousand, seven to ten thousand, somewhere in that range. But we're talking about over like a ten year span of time. Um, I remember one of the last purchases was like a couple thousand dollars, uh, and I bought. Uh, shares and this was maybe either I don't remember if it was in 2022 or 2021 but I bought shares like at you know somewhere in the 900 900 and something dollars a share and I ended up losing money on those that last purchase right but in the long run um, I ended up making you know I over I tripled my money I more than tripled my money so you know um It ended up being a really good thing. However, the reason that I was able to successfully exit and um, and make money on this was because I held it for a long time, and because it was a stock that appreciated. And even though uh, it was a stock that was constantly fluctuating, as it would go like this, right? So it would go boom, 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 boom. You know, boom, drop hard. But then it would come back up and it kept reaching higher peaks, higher peaks. And so I noticed that. And so I started playing a little bit that game when I would see a drop like that. I would just buy it, buy more. Um, and, um, you know, I, you, I truly believe you cannot time the market. You know, maybe there are some people that can or have the technology to. But for the average person buying and holding with a game plan right Um, and mine eventually became I wanted to take the money that I had earned there and I wanted to invest it 
in a property, real estate, and um, <clears throat> an investment property, rental property. So that became my goal, and I realized when there was an opportunity to, and it just so happened to be in July of 2022, um, that's when I sold. Now, you can say, well, you timed it really good, because after that, it just it's dropped. But there's no way to time it, right? There was no way to time it. Um, we had had some huge years, uh, which it's amazing, you know, how, how much the stock went up over the years. But, I mean, we're talking, even if we were to just look from, like, um, 2020 to 2022, you know, it was a, you're talking over a 400% return. So, you know, I, I ended up doing really well with it. Um, so my experience with Tesla was good. My experience with Tesla was just hold on to it, um, see what happens. And in the long run, it ended up doing well. Um, and I did that with several other companies too. And the way that I would choose companies is basically, hey, do I have an interest in this company? Do I think they're going to be around for a long time? I, do I like this company? Do I like what they stand for? Um, now, over the years, things have changed, right? And now that I know more, maybe I have somewhat different views on Tesla and Elon and whatnot. But overall, I think it was it's a great company. I think that in the long run, Hopefully, they're able to be around for a long, long time. I am no longer invested in Tesla, so I don't want to give an opinion moving forward. But if I do ever buy shares again, I will. Um, because I believe that when you buy shares of a company, when you have equity in that company, which shares are essentially ownership. Shares are a piece of ownership of that company. That's what, that's what a stock is. A stock is the company saying, hey, um, we need to raise capital, we need to raise money for whatever purposes of growth, let's say. So we are going to sell pieces of our company off to the public in exchange for capital. And if the company does well, then your investment did well, right? If the company doesn't do well, then your investment will drop. That's what you have to believe in a company and think that they're going to be around in the long term for that investment to make sense. Um, so if you're looking at Tesla and you're thinking, should I invest in it or should I take my money out of it or whatnot, think about those things. I can't tell you to do one thing or another. I'm not here to give any advice on that. I just wanted to share my experience with Tesla, which ended up being a very positive one. Um, and it just so happens that the years from 2012 to when I purchased it to 2022, right, which is 10 years, maybe I, maybe a little more than 10 years, that span of time, it just increased. But in between, it didn't. And so you have to think about that, right? If right now Tesla's at a low price, um, what will it be five years from now, 10 years from now? And that's the way that I would approach it. But again, look at the company. Is it something that you believed in? And I did believe in the mission. And I did believe in um, what Elon, I believed in Elon Musk. And I think one of the reasons Tesla is so successful as a stock and a company is because of Elon Musk. I don't think anyone could deny that. Obviously, he's surrounded himself with brilliant people. He's a brilliant man. But the, um, the, the hype of Elon Musk has helped that stock. There's no doubt. So that's my experience. I ended up selling it. Um, I made good money on it. I, I, had, I ended up owning at that time 36 shares. I'm looking here. Yeah, I had 36 uh, shares at the time. Um, and um, I ended up... Um, yeah, it says I made a total gain 365%. So over 10 years though, right? So like if you average that out per year and whatnot, but over 10 years, it was a good place to park my money. 
invest my money and um, it worked out really well for me so anyways that's my experience with Tesla and I hope that it's been helpful to you and if you're investing in that company um, I wish you the best good luck <laughs>